And now to CBN's for News Safety Alert to tell you about on this National Heat Stroke Prevention Day, officials from the Trump administration and the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration have unveiled a new nationwide push to prevent young children from dying in hot vehicles. Child advocates say young kids are dying at record-breaking rates despite decades of public action. CBS 4's Michael George reports from New York. On a hot summer day, temperatures inside a parked car can spike within minutes, turning a vehicle into a death trap for children more susceptible to heat strokes. Police in Fairfax County, Virginia, saw it just last week after a father forgot his 11-month-old daughter inside the family's SUV and she died. Park, look, and lock. To prevent these it's tragedies, awesome. Transportation Secretary Elaine Chow, along with officials from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, have launched a new $3 million safety campaign, reminding drivers to check their back seat before walking away. Public service announcements will be running all summer in 18 states with the highest incidences of children left in overheated cars. The majority of hot car deaths happen because the driver leaves the car forgetting the child inside, or a young child manages to get inside a car without an adult knowing. In the last two years, more than 100 children have died after being left in hot cars. This year, at least six have died. And safety advocates say it's lower than usual because families have been staying home during the coronavirus pandemic. Dozens of families who have lost children sent this letter to Secretary Chow, pushing for legislation requiring car makers install backseat warning systems in new vehicles. Among them, Miles Harrison, whose son Chase died after he left him in a hot car in 2008. Opened the door and you know, there was my son. I think about him every single day. Last year, automakers agreed to voluntarily install the technology in all cars by 2025. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Secretary Chow is also urging members of the public to call 911 if they spot an unresponsive child alone in a vehicle and the parents cannot be located.